welcome back to the Advanced Gaming Channel, some more Need for Speed. Uh, I've just finished doing a, a quick wrap on the Civic here. Because it was decided in the comments that, um, well, four things were decided in the comments. Well, three in a maybe, I guess. Uh, first of which, uh, the e should stay and be used as much as possible. So uh, what I did was, I agreed with that actually, because I do like the Civic. I took the first preset wrap and then I just uh, made it purple with I made the, the white into chrome and I, I wrote zero on the windscreen banner because you know represent my old crew and all that uh, and as for customization on the exterior I just made the wheels bigger tinted the windows and added banter to the non plate uh, I could remove the spoiler and make the car look like, like I don't know, like a 1.4i, but I'm keeping the Type R spoiler for now. And I'm just going to basically turn into sort of drift car. Not going to uh, go too mad with it. I, I, want, I, would, I would like to use it for everything at the moment. But yeah. Uh, I've not I've not much money yet, so I'm not gonna spend it yet. But um, yeah, who got Spike calling me? What's he want? Hey, Prison, Prison Royal Park. That is uh, always a good thing, I suppose. Just turn the volume down a bit so you don't echo in the uh, microphone there. But yeah, Spike the uh, AD maniac. Right. Also, so I, with the M3 army, we have obviously you're not gonna keep all the M3s. I was never gonna keep all the M3s. Uh, I'll just do it for a joke, really. Uh, it was decided that the M3s were a bit OP to be using at the start because even though it does look awesome, it's still a BMW M3. It will destroy anything that you know you start the game with anyway. So I'd like to keep a full garage just because it looks fun in cutscenes. So as I'm buying new cars, I'll sell Beamer just to make room for it. But you know. In cutscenes, you know, for now, you'll see all these cars in the back in a Wilker Arius. But yeah, so M3 until later. Well, I won't use the M3 until later, that moon. So there's a the second thing. Uh, third thing, Volvo. The Volvo drift build has been summoned. We will make the turbo brick drift build happen. And the Mavy was a DZ5 Integra. Basically, um, Benson has one in Pro Street, which he has redone. He's, he's not redone. Wrong word. He's gone back to. He's, he's, he's starting to post Pro Street again, so you should definitely watch that. But he's got an Integra in that, so someone suggested a DC5. Ben's was even saying to me before we should have, a, you know, a, uh, make a, like a, a twin. It's got like the same car together, and I agree. So I think we'll, I think we'll be doing that actually. We'll be um, at, one, at some point making the same car. But if I get a DC5, that'll be the car. That's definitely a maybe right now. But yeah, uh, for now though, because we're keeping the EK9, I'll use the EK9 and we'll do a bit of uh, hunting. Should be good. So I actually managed to finish Need for Speed on my main profile today. Uh, I was 60% yesterday. I got the next best of the. 40% today and yeah it was uh, it was an interesting story oh my little manu but yeah uh, I got to the end done all the different when the happening was after I finished build I tried to do just outlaw but what I found that my car was pretty much fast already so I did everything and I managed to complete everything sort of within a few races of each other, that was pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, the, the general, like, well my general thought is, you can tell some stories are more, has more thought in, put into than others. Uh, let me put, we'll get a race going. Uh, let's try to, actually, ooh. That's another thing, when, when asked about the whole, like, do I chase a certain thing first regarding the story, uh, our session I got was just, you know, just show off everything at the same time. Don't, 
go too mad with one thing, so I'll try and keep a variety going. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's do a sprint race with Amy. But yeah, uh, I've, yeah. So, I'm, I'm trying not to spoil the story too much, but anyway. Build definitely has a lot of thought put into it. Probably because of the whole, like, Nakai sign thing. Like, they're like, oh yeah, we have to, like, proper, like, big up this guy, so. That is, like, a proper, like, well done story. Uh, Outlaw, I feel, was a bit short. And Morohoshi wasn't really explained properly. Like, no one was ever like, oh, that's that, that with Lambos. And those. He's. If I didn't know any better, he was just some random dude who has a Lambo and he's an outlaw. You know? I don't like these things giving me advice when I know everything already. Uh, yeah. Uh, style with Ken Block. It was alright. I mean, I think it's more because. You don't really do like the proper like Jim Karna stuff. It's just drifting. Jumps don't even give you points for the Jim Karna one runs anyway, so it just feels like another drift event. So while the story was nice, the whole idea of style was a bit, you know, it just felt really samey. And obviously you got um, oh what was what was Manu's thing? What is Manu's thing? Oh, no, he will start. Yeah, to start. What's he's going? Robin, Robin, yeah, Robin with the uh, crew, Risk Devil. Uh, that was a well done one. Uh, but drift trains, oh, they can fuck off. Drift trains can fuck off. The AI have no idea how to actually make a tandem go, like to slow down or speed up for you and get a decent position. You kind of have to maneuver yourself around the AI, and it can get so chaotic at the end because like everyone's going way too fast to even be drifting in the first place. So that's a bit crazy. So yeah, um, good story, but you know, <laughs> the, the races you have to do put me off so badly. And then last one is brain fart. Or was that all of them? Ye I was, I'm missing one. I'm sure I'm missing one. Yeah, uh, speed with uh, Magnus Walker. That was well done. Although I felt like the whole like speed run thing, like doing runs all the time, it got really boring fast. Like I'd like to do more actual racing and touch time trials. But anyway, overall decent. Like. I'm not gonna. Obviously, there's only like 79 events in the first place. I'm not gonna expect it all to be like. Oh, fuck off. I just lost in like the very last minute. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I suppose I did beat Spikes. So that might have been what I needed to do, but. God damn it. I tried restarting as well, but I think about when games let you actually pause, it's a bit annoying because then you end up rolling through the finish line. But yeah, over, overall, the story's alright. It's cheesy, but it's NFS. What do you expect, right? Uh, I've got front bumpers now, but... I'd like to run that race again. Oh, no, because I've already beaten Spike, so it's... Right, well, we're going to have to make do with... I actually don't, I actually don't mind this whole, uh... You can come second sort of thing. Head in with Amy? Sure. That would be very nice. But uh, first, I'm going to go run the circuit of Spike. Oh, and um, what I noticed was the game tries to make all the icons a mystery, but the fact that they're on the front cover of the game and a quick search on the website tells you everything about them anyway, so I don't think it was worth like keeping it a secret sort of thing. Nice. And lots of stuff in my... Uh, Available now, but I'm not gonna bother. I'm not, not gonna money for it. Not yet, anyway. Also, um, it took me 17 hours to finish the story, and I wasn't even trying to rush it. I was actually taking my time. I was enjoying my car, building my car, doing the rap. So, not a long game, but then I don't think Underground One was that long either. Neither was Carbon, all, all those sort of games, so... Actually, length, that's all right. 
especially because it's, this is sort of a game that I will play through a few times, but I want to make like... Well, I've got my first five car garage, that's... Uh, I've got a BRZ, my first car. I've got a Supra. Uh, Porsche 993. Uh, I've got an Aventador and an R34. That's my first five car garage. And what my second five car garage to be, not including the Let's Play, I want like... I want to have like, the Fox Body, the 180SX, the RX7, S2000, uh, maybe Porsche 930, you know, all the all sort of B team cars, as I put it. And after that, I'll do another profile. It'll just keep going on and on until so I've got like a few very different garages. Obviously, for the Let's Play, it's all up to you guys what I use. I mean, if you guys want me to have like a Civic, a Volvo, a DC5, an M3, and I don't know, what, what, what should we say? Let's say the fifth car ends up being a Supra. That, that will be the garage. I'm not going to not choose a car because I've used it before. So I've used this in, I used this in the beta. Like, I know what's coming for this car. But I don't mind doing it again because it's the Let's Play and I, you know, you guys want to see me drive a Honda. He like, you guys like me driving Honda for some reason, so... Spike, what are you doing? I actually have nitrous. I like how it pops up saying, you know, I have nitrous. <laughs> you must buy some nitrous. But yeah, it's one of those games that I'm going to replay loads of times anyway, so it's fine. I had the same thing with Import Tune Change, actually. Uh, the first time you play the game, if you do nothing but play the game, like, all day long, you will finish it just in about the same amount of time as NFS. But it's a game that you meant to replay over and over and over and again anyway. So, all those, like, 17 hours, it all adds up. So you've got 44 hours, goes to 51 hours, you know, onwards and onwards, so... Over on, I'm not too asked about length. Oh shit, now Spike's past me and I'm going to lose the Spike. And so I can overtake him. In the very last minute. Probably can't. Unless he fucks up like that. Oh, thank you Spike. Thank you Spike. Thank you sir, thank you. <laughs> Got him. Got four grand from that. I'll tell you about the car list though. I'm actually... Su I'm... I found it easy to pick five cars in the end, knowing that I'm going to do another profile. So, finding five favourites isn't too bad. It's finding five cars that you want to tune over the... What the fuck did he just do? Over the other cars. That's that's the difficult part, I think. Whoa, they're, um, they're off someone, aren't they? Uh, donut spot. I can't do that because I've not got a real drive car. Well, I do... But I can't be asked bringing it out right now, so that'll, that can wait. Alright, what's we got to do? Uh, let's meet the gang at the diner, because I haven't done a manual mission. Yet. Yeah. But yeah. The, the car, I'm, I'm liking the car. It's, there could be more cars in there, that, and some cars could have been removed, but... Overall, it's a good list. It's very, very diverse. It might be a lot of most wanted actually, because like you got a lot of low-end cars and then sort of mid-tier cars and lot of supercars, and they all seem to be like in their own little to begin with their own little classes. But when you do fully tune the cars, they're all very even. There's Robin and Amy, my uh, two future ex-wives. Lol, lol, lol. Uh, and yeah. So, Amy's like, it hurts me to hear the car bouncing off the road limiter, yet she just ragged on a cold SR20 not five minutes ago. Like, seriously. Also, Spike has a really, like, bad issue with, uh, taking rejection and shit. He gets so stroppy. Proper spoil. That's actually true. I love the um, how everyone drinks Monster. No matter where they are, everyone just drinks Monster. There's no Coke, no Pepsi, no Fanta, Seven Up, water, nothing. It's just oh no, no. I think that's a, I think that's water next to the Monster, but it's mostly Monster. And uh, whatever's in those red cups, everyone seems to drink a lot. I, I'm guessing Monster at the same again. 
We got to yank that e-break. If you're out of control, you ain't in control. Nah, I'm saying. Twink. I like how they're like having all little, little in, in fights, but you can't kind of guess that they're all friends, so it's all right. I love noisy chaos. This bump. I think this game was like pure just British actors. People would be like, do they hate each other? Because they all seem angry with each other. Nah, that's just how we are. It's like I think. So when I'm seeing this, it's like oh, it's pretty obvious they're just all messing with each other. But I can see, like, you know, how some people can think. Do they actually hate each other? The local scene, yeah. Love the local scene. Right. The spike is calling once more. I don't, I don't get like. There's bits of the story that I never explained, like. Why? Why would um, everyone be telling him to stay away from Magnus and stuff? Like, is it to say that there's something bad about Magnus, but it's never actually explained? Not really explained. Also, the whole like, why everyone sort of not happy with Robin being rescued for Devil all the time? That's never explained either. But it's just a cheesy NFS story to go with the game. It's not like. It's like going back to Underground 2 and being like, how is Caleb actually able to control the city? They're just street racers, but you know, it's just, just NFS things.